OGAE has announced the finalists in this year's OGAE Song Contest, where you get to pick your favorite mainstream song from the past year. There are a lot of Eurovision names in the list, and some big stars, including Taylor Swift. You guys, who are your favorites so far? I think mine, without wanting to be biased, is either Ella Henderson for the UK, because I love that song, it's so good, and I think she's so crazy talented and like the kind of thing that the BBC really should be trying to send to Eurovision, uh, because we do so much better if we sent stuff like that. Um, or Darren from Sweden, um, he like, I've loved ever since because he did like Melfest, he's like a huge star in Sweden, he performed at uh, the contest in 2013 as the Interlact, and his Swedish stuff is actually really good, it's really different to most of his like high pop stuff he's done, it's much more like serious and meaningful. Um, and I like the fact that he's gone to Swedish because I feel like so many of the Malfest stars feel the pressure to perform in English purely because I think there's more commercial success in that if they're looking at like the contest wider. But I think it's really brave and it's also really paid off because artistically there's a lot more like intelligence here. Yeah? I'm, I'm digging Italy and Ireland. For me, just for me. Uh, Darren is not my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like the Darren song either. I think it's a little boring. I think like, it's great that it's organic, but I'm like, is there a bang coming? Is like, there a climax coming and it never gets there? Whereas with Italy, Kristen, I also love this. It's like, I don't know, there isn't like a huge climax, but it's just really nice. No, it's just so quirky. Yeah. It has that, it has a, you know, something. I, I just can't put my finger on it, but it has something that I like. And we should say we're talking about Malika and Sinza Farsul Serio, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. She's, yeah. Just, she's like, I don't know, like Annie Lennox on drugs. There's something just so like weird but cool at the same time. Yeah, I also caught, uh, got a little bit of LaRue mm. vibe. You remember her? Absolutely. Yeah, redhead with no mascara. <laughs> I got some vibes and I really like that. And what are you feeling about the Ireland song? He, of course, won Wee Wee Vision 2015, Marcus Feely with Love is a Drug. Um, did you think that was deserved? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope he wins this one, too. <laughs> <laughs> As Angus yawns in England. <laughs> no, it's like, I really liked Westlife and they went together, and I think Love is a Drug, is that what? Love is my drug, Love is a Drug. I don't, it's What's really that? cool and fancy. Um, it's very cool and trancy and electro, but I almost feel like Ireland should have been a bit more intelligent than just like taking the song that we use for our competition. Um, I would have thought they'd be a bit more inspired than that. Um, hey, if it ain't the... broken, why fix it? I'm just saying it's like, I don't know, I would have thought they'd have tried harder to find better stuff, but it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Well, on to my favorites, y'all. And my number one is gonna be Spain, Ruth Lorenzo with Resign. She's just amazing. I feel like she's one of these artists who took Eurovision and ran with it. Like, she hasn't disappeared and she's kept releasing music and she can sing, she's got the look, she's got the attitude, she's got the tattoos. She's a superstar. And like, I like the lyrics, you know? She's like, we did not apologize. You preferred to forget me. There is pain in this song. She is singing about a man she loved and he is gone. We've all been there. This is my number one. My number two, and this is not because I'm American, this is Miss Taylor Swift with her song Blank Space. And Angus just rolled his eyes. And initially, I was trying to think of ways to like take this sound, song down. Like I didn't want to see, like she's already a mega superstar, right? So why should we field her in the OJE song contest? It's just a really good song and like the video is amazing and she plays this psycho bitch, crazy, nasty, like I can really identify with that and like I really like it. You don't mess with Tay Tay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do not. I mean, I love Taylor Swift as much as the next person. I just feel like this is the thing that's always brought up when Americans are always like, oh, it'd be so good if we came in Eurovision as well because it'd be really cool. I'm just like, no, that's not what this is about and Taylor's just like, She's really good and it's a really good song, but I just, yeah, I would feel weird about her winning it. Are you xenophobic? Are you like, hashtag refugees not welcome? No, I'm just saying I don't want Americans in my Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, then I will give you my third favorite, who is not an American. It's Belarus's Eliona Lanskaya Yajiva. This song is amazing. This is so good. She actually, in her bio for the OJE Song Contest, has a quote. 
She says, Eurovision has greatly changed my idea about the quality of music. The artist would have to strive to ensure that every note was in place and every word in the song made sense. This of course suggests that she did not think her song at Eurovision made sense. I just love this. It's like folky and ethnic and sexy and it's just very Aliona. Yeah, did yeah. she understand the lyrics of her song in 2013? I think cha-cha would have been the extent of it. Yeah. Yeah, they used words like kismet. I was like, okay, I don't even know what this means and I'm fluent in English. So. <laughs> Well, you guys, we should quickly review the results. We're actually running a poll on Google Logs to determine who the winner should be. And in first place, it is Taylor Swift with Blank Space. She has 12% of the vote, but she's only four votes ahead of Ruth Lorenzo with her song Resign. And in third place, we have Ella Henderson. And in fourth place, we have Frances Kenji Girac. Oh, I the... forgot about France. I loved France as well. Did you? I forgot about him. Not a good sign if you're going to be voting. <laughs> Excuse me, we can all be Miss Picture Perfect here. No, 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 no. I mean, not a good sign for him. But those top four, they all have more than 140 votes. But then it really drops off. <laughs> and Slovakia is in fifth. They only have 63. No, I just think it's like too easy for Taylor Swift. Like it's kind of, you bring like, I don't know. What's the metaphor? Like you bring like a really good gun to like a pea shooter party. It's like way, way, way overkill for like what they needed. But this is the thing, like, if you're in America, like, there's so many artists, so anyone they would have fielded, we would have been like, they're too big. They're too big of a star. <laughs> I mean, not like Kelly Clarkson, because she's a washed up. She is like, not washed up. I'm so sorry. No, you do not talk like that about Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, her record label did that, and then she came back and said, boom, since you've been gone. And look what she did with that. Yeah, and she is giving the finger to body shamers. She just had a baby, for Christ's sake. Meh. Nah. I just think Taylor's overkills. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Let us know here on Movie Blogs. See you later.